action. Hi, it's B. Cameron Gain from Revcom. I'm here with the new stack at KubeCon Cloud Native Con North America in downtown Chicago. And I'm here today with Michael Yuan from Second State. And he is going to show us this demo about how to use Wasm Edge for LLM. And what's interesting, and I'm a hard person to convince, he's saying that it's superior or it serves as an alternative for when you want to do that or use LLM with the tried and trusted Python for machine learning. Yeah, thank you, Bruce. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. So we are at uh, a CNCF KubeCon in Chicago, and CNCF had uh, done a, a survey uh, last year in 2022 about uh, you know technology usage, and uh, um, WebAssembly Wasm came out as one of the top choices. So I, I, if I remember the finding correctly, it's, uh, uh, containers are everywhere, but Wasm is the future. You know, so but how is Wasm the future? You know, that's uh, um, what. Where are the killer applications? So uh, there's many killer applications for Wasm. So you know, the open source project that I have is called Wasm Edge. It's an open CNCF project, the sandbox yeah. project. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, um, so um, here I want to show you how to use um, WebAssembly to run large language model on your own device, on your Mac, on your laptop, or on your Edge device. You know, even on Raspberry Pi, and you know things like that. Things you don't think. Uh, you know, the large language model or ChatGPT would be able to run, you know, that's, uh, but with a lightweight uh, execution environment like Wasm Edge, we would be able to run it, so. Okay, well, well two questions before you get started. Um, first question is, um, this is better than, say, Python, in la largely because the Python code is very large, yes. and you're using Rust, and, and which is uh, remarkably uh, lighter yes. compared to Python, that's one thing. And I guess the other, just wanted to affirm that and, uh, for our uh, audience, and they're also, I wanted to know if you could just please show how the, the folks at home can set this up, you know, going yeah. from GitHub and setting it up and then running it. Yes, So I'll yes. you take it away, Michael. Yes, thank you, Bruce. Yeah, that's, uh, so um, wh why not use Python? You know, that's the first question, right? You know, the, yeah. the Python to do uh, large language inference, you know, you need a, uh, uh, the whole PyTorch and GPU driver and all that stuff installed. That stuff is like uh, three gigabytes, okay? You know, so I dare not install it on my computer, you know, that's, uh, and uh, um, once you have it, it's not portable because, you know, uh, to a new computer that has a, a different GPU, you would start all over again, you know, okay. so um, the Wasm runtime, you know, it's a virtual machine, it's like a JVM, so it's provide cross-platform compatibility. It's not just across CPUs, but also across GPUs. You know, so that's mm -hmm. so that's a power I want to demonstrate here. And also, Python is an interpreted language, and it's very slow. You know, in a way, because Python, mm -hmm. when you use Python to do machine learning and things like that, you rely on the underlying C-based library like PyTorch mm -hmm. to do the to do actually the work, right? So with Wasm, we use a much more C-like language, like but better, you know, like Rust, to uh, to bridge the gap. You know, instead of you know using Python to drive C, we use Rust to drive C. So that's that'd be the major difference. So uh, may, maybe I should start my yes. demo? Yeah, yeah please do, let's check yeah. it out. Thank you. So the, uh, really there's only three steps. The first step is to install Wasm Edge, and here's the command, you know, as you can see, I've, I've, uh, I've typed it, it's, uh, the conference has bad internet, so you know, so I, you know, it takes a minute to, uh, to download and install it, and after that you don't right. need, a, you know, uh, you don't need to have the internet to install it again. And then the second step, is to download a large language model. Here I give you a command, you know. Okay. Uh, you, you can read it from our documentation. You know, this is one of the uh, Lama 2 models. With that, Lama, uh, yeah. Yes, that mm -hmm. uh, a Meta AI has published. You know, it's uh, seven, seven billion parameters, you know. So I wouldn't download it here because I, I have already downloaded it. And then the third step is to download a Wasm application. Okay. What are you downloading as far as Wasm goes in, your, in addition to run WASI? And what is run WASI? <laughs> run WASI is to yeah. make Wasm run in a Kubernetes environment. Yeah. Yep. So, so you know, so but uh, now we are using Wasm as a as a um, uh, command line, right? Yeah. You know, so, so, so it's a simpler setup. Um, so, I have the Wasm runtime. Now I have a Wasm application. The Wasm application, like we said earlier, is a very simple Rust application that manages the input and output of the large language model. So it's encode your your words into 
the, the metrics that the, the large language model can understand, and once they get a result, it decodes that into the world. And uh, so, as you can see, I only download this Wasm application because it's cross-platform. It cross-platform across all the CPUs, you know, the uh, Intel, AMD, you know, ARM. Uh, it's all uh, compatible. Uh, RISC-V, yeah. yeah. And the, all the operating yeah. systems. And the more interesting is all the GPUs as well. For instance, I'm running it on the Mac GPU, and uh, on, on Apple Silicon, it would automatically detect the GPU and it would be able to run it, right? You know, so you know, I, you know, so, so I've downloaded all this. I've downloaded the the um, the large language model and the Wasm application and installed the Wasm Edge. That's all the three steps. That's all you need. Okay. And now we can do the inference. All right. So the inference is really also a single command. So you use Wasm Edge the runtime, and you load yep. the large language model, which yep. is the one that we, we, we have just done, and uh, then run the application, the llama chat.wasm application. So it, now it asks user, what is, uh, you know, let's ask a question. Let's uh, it's up say, and running. Yeah, right. it's up and running. So let's say, what is the capital of Japan? Okay, let's see if the large language model knows this. So it takes a minute for it to, um, because the, the, the model is like five gigabytes, so it takes uh, five five gigabytes, yeah, so it takes a little time for it to go out to get the model. So now you can see answers, right? The capital of Japan yes. is Tokyo, yeah. So Right, correct. And, yes. The what? Mach machine, you are correct. Yes, what about the US? Now it's really fast because it, on the second one, it doesn't have to load the, the model again, right? You know, right, so, it's so, there. So it shows. Right. So it says the capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. You know, interestingly is that it follows the conversation because the, the second I said, what about the U.S.? What about the U.S.? I, what am I asking? Yeah, what about the U.S.? Exactly. Yeah. What so, about it? Yeah. But it follows the first conversation, right? The first conversation yeah. was uh, what's the capital of Japan. So he now knows what I'm asking. So it has learned the capital of the U.S., right? You know, so so it's uh, so the model is is pretty smart. But I will show you another way to run the model to see more statistics. So you know, so if I say, if I add a, a command line option, say log stat, I would get. Uh, you know, as I type those uh, those questions, I would get more answers, right? You know, so uh, more, more statistics. So let me um, ask a similar question. Say, is Chicago the capital of Pizza. the U.S.? Oh, US. You know, let's see. Right. Uh, so it now no. it goes really fast, right? You know, yeah. that's uh, so it goes 27 seconds per, tokens per second on a very old MacBook that I have. You know, it detects that I have a GPU, it does all this, and so it says... It's continuing to learn. Yes, yes. So Chicago is not the capital of the United States. The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. Now I ask, then is it a state capital? You know, is Chicago the state capital? Is that, is that the capital of Illinois? What is the capital? <laughs> no, Chicago is not the state capital. It is city located in the state of Illinois. The I see. capital of Illinois is Springfield, okay? so. Oh, so a large language model taught us something today, right? You right. Know, so. I should know that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it, it is definitely, the easy, um, you, you know, you can see it runs 27 uh, tokens per second. It's really fast, on even on load, old hardware, and it runs on the IoT device. You know, so all the devices operation is exactly the same. There's no need to install complex software stacks. You know, that's the easiest way to run the... the but where did the LLM data come from? The LLM data come from uh, uh, a repository called Hugging Face. Hugging Face? Yeah, it's a, it's a GitHub of models. Okay, so you we know, can download that at home yes, as well. All yes, right. there's uh, thousands of, you know, um, uh, Lama 2 tuned models that, uh, you know, some of them can generate SQL queries, some of them can generate code, some of them can, can answer all kinds of different questions, you know, so you can download the model that you like yeah. and, uh, you know, and put it here. And the, with, with Wasm, you know, which I may not have time to demo, is that we can, uh, build a uh, build a, a web server around it so that it can take the OpenAI style uh, web service input and then generate answer back in the OpenAI format, right? You know, so that will allow us to run as a microservice in a Kubernetes cluster where you know you can have other tools that to on Kubernetes, to, you know, okay. yeah, to, to to go with that. So yeah, that's uh, you know uh, a lot of possibilities once you get it running in Wasm. Yeah. Well, thanks, Michael. It's B Cameron Gain with Revcom with the new stack today, and I just saw this fascinating LLM demo about, or that, that really worked well from Michael, or presented by Michael Yuan yeah. from Second State.
And thank you very much, Michael. Thank you, Bruce. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.